Hey, what it is, it's Blue Frog. Got the car all waxed up with the Adams polish. Looking all nice and pretty, but battery problem. So just like last year, you know, you let it sit over winter and uh, wouldn't start. Tried with the jump, my jumper box. It wouldn't start yesterday. Recharged the jumper box. Tried it again this morning. It started up, but it was acting really weird, man. It was like, it was. It started going at like a high idle, like two grand, and it and then it was going like from high to low, like it was like wow, like doing some weird shit, you know. And uh, when I was looking at when I was looking at the the instrument. The instrument cluster deal there was like a red there was like a red light up here and then it said uh traction control was off so i went through the the settings there and tried turning like traction control back on and it said um like unable to do that and it, it was saying some weird stuff and so i was like well, maybe i just need to rum it up a little you know give it a little a little juice rev it up but it wouldn't let me, man. I, I'd like put it into drive and try to rev it up and it would just barely rev up. So I think it goes into like some sort of a limp mode or something. So it's like, shit, you wouldn't even be able to drive it around to try and, you know, get get it charged up. But um, when I checked on the battery setting, you know, on the infotainment screen, it said 14.2, which I would assume mean it's the alternator is working fine, but the battery just wasn't taking the charge and then I I let it go for a while and then I turned it off and then tried starting it back up to see if it would reset itself or whatever you know and start working normal and it didn't have enough juice to even start itself back up so dead battery luckily enough I was able to pop the trunk because the battery's in the back the door had enough juice so it was able to to open it um if your battery's like totally dead and you can't open it you got your key fob on the back here's this little lever you do that and your key po it slides out and you got a key so you can un or, uh, unlock your door but if you didn't have any power to the trunk there's no key spot back there so you'd have to you know get back there fold your seats forward climb back in there and try releasing the hatch from the from the inside and that would suck man what is up with this bro look at that what the hell is up with that yo Man, Dodge, you need to be putting some better quality product in your car, bro. Like, this car's got 3,000 miles on it. Oh, my God. I don't even want to see what else is fucked up on it now. Like, like are you kidding me, bro? Oh, my God. All right, I'm going to quit thinking about that. And start thinking about the battery. So for battery, you fold open, you know, you fold this open, the back here you got your, your flat little compressor deal which I've never used, and you've got your battery. It has on it a strap here that comes around, it's like a normal strap system, you, you just push on here and pull on it and it'll loosen it up so you can get your battery out and it's a 10 millimeter to get your get 
get your connections off the 10 millimeter and then it's also a 10 millimeter down there for your for your battery holder bracket of course I didn't have all the right stuff I needed but let me come over here I had a 10 millimeter but I didn't have the extensions so I had to get some extensions so I'd be able to do it and then for battery went to Napa and they had this legend series uh, let's see if I can get there's all the info on it it's a AGM which is a a glass mat supposedly these can be charged and discharged a lot more times than like a normal battery without having an effect on it premium oh yeah I guess that is an M it almost looks like an N this one has a three year warranty they had, they had a couple other versions you could get that were cheaper but dude if, if you're going to put money into a battery you better spend you know, it's worth spending an extra $50 if it lasts a couple years longer. So the price on this was $250 for... An $18 core charge, which you get back plus tax. Then I had my extensions and the, the little ratchet deal. For 306.82, if you didn't have to get the ratchet and the extensions, it'd be cheaper. But yeah, that's what you're looking at. And I know this battery seems like should hopefully be nice. I've seen other ones where they said, "Oh, you gotta put a, you gotta put plugs into it and weird shit because you know you gotta make sure your battery." is made to be inside your car versus outside of your car because you don't want gases and stuff yeah see i might have to do it with that one too see there's a plug on that one and then right there there's a little vent thing that hooks up to it so i'll have to see if i might have to hook that up onto onto my new one but Yep, that's that's how you do it. Looks like your fuse box is back here, too. And uh, I've heard you want to do negative first, then your positive, and then you hook your positive up, and then your negative. I hope this helps somebody, because uh, I know I have to do some research in order to try figuring out how to do this without blowing my car up but hit me up peace